Hello friends and welcome back to the art room with Mr. Eck. This week we're going to be decorating our initial plates. These are the sculptures that we made just a few weeks ago. In the art room I have fired these so that means they are uh, white and hard and ready to color. You could just paint these with whatever paint you have handy, but I have something a little more interesting in mind. We're going to be coloring these with construction paper crayons. Construction paper crayons are a special crayon that work really well on colored paper, on thick paper, and even on clay, apparently, because this is going really well so far. Um, we are going to be coloring our initial plates with the color, uh, construction paper crayons. Um, when you're coloring, be sure you press uh, down hard, not hard enough to break the crayon, hopefully, but hard enough to fill in as much of the clay with color as possible. The color is going, the crayon is going to make a barrier of color um, that is going to do something really cool with the second step of this project. So step one, we're just going to color this with construction paper crayons. I'm going to do that right now. So now I have finished coloring my initial plate with uh, construction, construction paper crayons and um, my E is yellow because I wanted it to stand out so I made it the brightest color. The background I did blue right behind it, I did teal around the edges and then on the side I put purple. Um, again you need to push really hard and cover as much of the clay as possible with crayon because step two is I have created here in class a tub of black liquid watercolor. And what we're going to do is we're going to dip our initial plates into the tub of black uh, watercolor and that's going to color all of the clay that doesn't have crayon on it. So the, the watercolor, sorry, the crayon creates a barrier that the watercolor can't get through. So it's trying to get to the clay but it can't because the crayon's on it. So any bit of clay that doesn't have crayon on it will turn this uh, kind of grayish blackish color. So it makes for a really cool effect and I'm going to switch to the overhead camera so you can uh, watch me give my initial plate a watercolor bath. Alright, so I'm wearing a uh, glove to protect my hand from the watercolor so I don't dye my skin. And um, before I put this in there, I just wanted to let you know that if you don't have a bunch of liquid watercolor handy, what you can do is just get some regular watercolors and paint on top of your initial plate and it will work just fine. I just thought the dipping method would be fun for our kids here in class. So uh, I thought, figured they'd like to see that. So here goes my initial plate into the bath. Oh, that's kind of neat. It's kind of standing up. I'm going to splash some watercolor on top of that. See how the watercolor is being pushed off of the crayon? It's pretty neat. Make sure it gets nice and soaked. Turn it over. Alright, there we go. So there are some areas where the uh, black watercolor is has kind of pooled up and um, it's like making a little blob of watercolor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just blot that with a paper towel and then set this off to dry and that'll be it. And here's my finished colored initial plate. I think it turned out really neat. That uh, dipping effect with the crayon I think really worked out nicely. I hope you uh, are very proud of how your initial plate turned out and that you're ready to display it in your house for everybody to see. And I will catch you guys next time in the art room.